Starting today, you can control Streamlabs desktop with G-Hub. If you're not familiar with G-Hub, it allows you to control and customize everything from your mouse, keyboard, microphone, and lights. And I'm gonna show you everything you need to know on how to use it and how to set it up. Here we go. What is up all you awesome and beautiful streamers? Wild here helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Let's get right into it. You can now set your G keys to perform actions in Streamlabs desktop at the touch of a button. You can perform actions like start and stop streaming and recording, switch to a specific scene, even mute or unmute your microphone or mixer, plus a lot more. Actions are single actions you can customize to fit your needs. For example, you can set an action to change your scene in Streamlabs desktop. For macros, they're combinations of multiple actions. You can combine numerous actions from Streamlabs desktop, like changing your scene and toggling your recording. When it comes to configuring G-Hub with Streamlabs desktop, you need to make sure that you're updated to the latest version of G-Hub. Gonna do you a favor and put it down in the video description below to make it easy for you. On the main screen, click the pop out menu in the top left corner. Select settings and then check for updates in the top right. Now, when you want to assign actions, navigate to your G Hub supported keys by clicking on it from the main menu. Then select the plus sign icon on the left side of the screen to access the assignments section. To set an action, select actions from the menu and click on Streamlabs desktop to enable the drop down menu. Toggle streaming and recording are available by default. You can add new actions by clicking the plus create new action. Please note, G-Hub will ask you to open Streamlabs desktop if it's not open already. Select the action type you want to create from the dropdown. For example, to create an action to mute the microphone, select mute mixer followed by mic slash AUX. You can now drag your desired action to one of the G keys on your Logitech keyboard to bind it. Logitech keyboards without dedicated G keys can use the F keys. So click the FN toggle near the bottom of the screen to enable this functionality. Once you have dragged the action to your desired key, you're all set. Now let's talk about macros. Click on macros under assignments to create a macro and select create new macro. Give your macro a name. Choose which type of macro you wanna create. There are four options, no repeat, repeat while holding, toggle and sequence. To figure out what each one does and what it is, hover your mouse over to read the description of each macro. Click plus start now to begin creating your macro. You can find commands for Streamlabs desktop under action. Toggle streaming and toggle recording are available by default. If you wanna add other Streamlabs desktop commands to your macro, you must first make actions for them. You do not need to assign them to keys, however. Once you have finished creating your macro, click save. You can now drag it to bind it to a key. In the example here, when you press on the F5 key on this keyboard, Streamlabs desktop will start recording and streaming. If you're looking for easy ways to start using G-Hub, think about how it can turn on your lighting equipment and start your stream all with just one button. If you need to take a much needed break, you can have it switch scenes to a BRB and mute your mic so you can get a stretch in. Or perhaps one of the easiest ways to start using it is just have it record your stream so that way you can capture your highlights to post to other platforms later on. G-Hub is a handy tool for simplifying your job as a streamer. It's kind of a no brainer. Let us know in the comments down below, what is your favorite action or macro? Share it with the community and help another streamer out. If you need any more help with anything Streamlabs, hey, that's where I come in to help you out. Gonna do you a favor, put a couple of videos here up on screen. It's gonna make you bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. I'll catch you later. And as always, take care and of course, peace.